welcome to Crackpot Kitchen Cooking Show with Chef Nick. Food, fun, and the sheer comedy. Now, I'm going to show you how to make my special Konki Kong fritters. With using simple ingredients, nothing difficult. You can see what I have here. I have green bell peppers, fresh carrots, onions, red bell peppers, some celery, I have fresh garlic, and fresh thyme. Now, to make some conky conch fritters, of course you know I need conch. I got these conchs from my boat guy, my fisherman today. He brought them in nice and fresh, he cleaned them for me, I have them sitting on ice. I'm gonna show you how to cut these. Now first, I have to tell you the way that we are gonna prepare these today. Before, making conch fritters used to be a strenuous task because they had those grinders that you clip to the edge of your countertop and you spin it around and you spin it around and oh my arm hurt me then you gotta call your son or your daughter to come finish doing the spinning no you can pick up a household, a household item like this called a food processor you can get this from do it center building materials at a very affordable price i picked this up no longer than yesterday and every household should have a food processor okay what we're gonna do we're gonna dice put a cut on our conch you don't have to be too fancy with this just want to get some nice chunks to make it easier on our food processor because if it's cut too big then some of the conch won't be chopped up fine enough or some of your vegetables will be left behind Upon cutting this up, I'll get a pen to put this in. You know, to keep our station nice and tidy. Clean food is good food. Remember that. Okay, now with our food processor, I'm gonna add some of the conch meat. You don't wanna overload this because we wanna make this quick and easy. I'm gonna add some fresh garlic. I'm gonna add some onions. That's okay. The onion drop out of the bowl. I'm going to add some red bell peppers, some celery. While adding our ingredients inside of our food processor, this is very important to a Kong fritter. This is a habanero pepper, okay? We're going to smash this down, give this a slight cut. You want to cut these with gloves on, most especially, because if you wash your hands twice, you'll still have that pepper on your hands and it's bad for rubbing your eyes or any part of your body. Okay, we're gonna use for this mixture, let's keep it at two because we don't wanna go too spicy. We wanna put, throw some carrots in here as well as some fresh thyme. We're gonna put the cover on our food processor. Okay, we're gonna pulse this. Look how quick and easy that is. Now the grinder, you would have been there grinding and grinding and grinding and still not reach this stage. Quick and easy. Remember, you don't you don't wanna you don't wanna go too fine because you wanna taste some of your chunky meat inside of the Kong fritters. Okay, what you want your mixture to look like is this. You have the carrots in there, chopped up very fine, the celery, the conch, the red bell, the green bell, the fresh thyme, the garlic, the habanero peppers. Okay, to our mixture, we're gonna add the remaining ingredients. We're gonna get some baking powder. We're gonna get some eggs. We're gonna get our seasoning. Now, my seasoning tray consists of Cajun seasoning, season all, not season salt, season all, complete seasoning, red chili pepper flakes, black pepper, fresh, crushed, and kosher salt, okay? Now, these are some of the ingredients we're gonna use with our mixture. For a mixture of this portion, we're gonna use about a tablespoon and a half of baking powder. Now, you can go on our Facebook page, 
you'll have specific ingredient measurements on our Facebook page to make it easier for you to prepare at home. To this mixture, we're gonna add in about six eggs. Now the eggs hold the comforter together. Without the eggs, you mix this mixture with your flour and your seasoning and so forth. It will just run all over the oil in the pot. Okay, that's four, five, and six. Okay, just wash up for a bit. Get that sticky eggs off my glove. Okay, we're gonna add in some Cajun seasoning. You can eyeball it. Remember, you don't want to go too heavy on your seasoning in the, at, in the first process of making your kung fritters. You, with making your kung fritters, you do a sample fritter inside of your oil and you taste whether it needs more salt or not. Remember, you cannot correct something salty, but you can correct something that needs more salt. Okay, I have just added some Cajun season to this. I'm going to add just a bit of season all. I'm going to add some complete seasoning and a dash of salt. Okay, we're going to mix this up. Okay, come on camera guy, get a close up on this. I want you guys at home to be my friends, to be me as I'm making this. I want you to get the full experience. You want to put your hands in there? Okay. Okay. Okay, with this mixture, we're gonna go forward with adding our flour. Now flour is a key ingredient in making kung fritters, okay? I'm sure you can think you can ball this up and put this in the fryer. You'll have a beautiful, well, if you think about it, you'll have a beautiful kung kamle. <laughs> okay, so I'll get some flour. I'll add to this. Okay, tell you what, change of gloves time. On my last show, I told you guys why I like to wear gloves. And the same thing goes for why I like to wear them now. Okay? Latex is always good. Remember that. Now, no funny thinking. Okay, we're gonna add some flour in there. Sift some flour in here. Okay, we're gonna eyeball this now. But, like I said earlier, you could go on our Facebook page and there you'll find the ingredients to make this at home. Okay, now you have to test it. You don't wanna go too much flour and then you can't correct it. You can always add flour as you go. Same goes for salt. Okay. We're gonna caress the flour in the comforter. This feels good. Cooking can be fun if you approach it with a fun frame of mind. Sometimes you walk into the kitchen, like, oh Lord, I feel like cooking today. Then your food will taste like you didn't feel like cooking today. But if you approach your kitchen with, I'm gonna throw something down. I'm excited about doing this. Then your food will taste like, wow, he threw something down, if you know what I mean. And I know tomorrow you guys are gonna be trying these Kung Fritters. Why not? Oh, look at that. See, now, this is the texture that we got from adding our flour, okay? Okay, this is a okay texture by me. Okay, what I'll do, I'd add just a bit more flour, okay? Don't mind, I'm just having my spoon. Container, flour in there. Now I'll add this in. Now I've seen people make Kung Fu this many different ways. If you ask 10 different people to make a Kung Fu batter for you, you'll get 10 different Kung Fu batters, okay? And by the way, this is a Kung Fu batter, okay? With this batter, I'm going to show you how to form your Kung Fritters very easy without using a spoon and having three or four of your Kung Fritters in the pot already cooked and just trying to add more to catch it up. So I'm going to add to this some H2O water just to get the right texture I'm looking for. 
With achieving the texture I was looking for, I have to now put the concreters in the pot. Now, with adding them to the pot, what is usually done, the person is getting a spoon, tablespoon or teaspoon, shaping out a round fritter and adding it in the pot slowly. Then you have to continue that process of shaping and adding it to the pot slowly. Then it can be done quite, quick, quite quickly. I'll show you how to accomplish that. Now, with my glove on, my latex glove, I just wanna put some olive oil in the palm of my hand and rub it together. Okay, it's no problem if a little oil go in there, it's going in oil already, okay? I'm gonna take a Kung fritter, shape this out, a ball in the palm of my hand, very easy. If you see, we have a little round Kung fritter. Okay, we're gonna place it in our oil. Remember, you don't want your oil to be too hot, okay? The perfect way to measure this, you want a 350 degree oil. Okay, the perfect way to measure this, you go to your local do it center store or on the shelves at IGA, they do have the thermometers that you put on the side of the pot, which measures the degree of your oil temperature. Okay? You want your oil to be at 300, no more, or 350. And you just add the comforters in there. Now what they will do is slowly float to the top, which is the reaction from the baking powder. Okay, you'll notice that your glove will get a bit dry. You want to add some more oil to that and continue your process. Now, you can form this in many different ways. See, what I, what I usually do is form a conch stick. I do it a little longer. Just like this one. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. You want to accomplish a beautiful golden brown color. Okay, while these are frying, Remember to pay attention to your comforter. Keep your stove on low if it's reached the temperature that you try to achieve, okay? Okay, as these are frying, we want to accomplish a nice golden color like this. We want to take it out of our fire and place it on a napkin to get some of that oil, that excess oil away from our comforter. Look at the color on those. Okay, now while they're resting, I'm gonna show you to make, how to make a flamingo cocktail Turks and Caicos sauce for the Kung fritters, okay? With making this cocktail sauce, we're gonna use some of your basic household ingredients. We're gonna use some ketchup, some sriracha, we have a lime, a lemon. To our refrigerator, we're gonna get some mayonnaise. And to put this all together, you would need a whisk. If you don't have a whisk, you can use a spoon at home. Okay, what I'm gonna do first is add some of our mayonnaise to the bowl. The spoon. Okay, for a portion of that size, we're not gonna go so heavy on this. Remember, you can find exact measurements and ingredients on our Facebook page. Okay, we're gonna add some ketchup to this. We're gonna add some sriracha to this. Okay. I'm gonna squeeze some fresh lime juice in there, as well as some fresh lemon juice in there. Now, I have a little secret to this. Okay, these are some of your common cocktail ingredients for a Kung Fu sauce. What I use to give it that nice smoky taste is some hickory smoke barbecue sauce. Yes, hickory smoke barbecue sauce. I know this is new to most of you viewing, but give this a try. Trust me, you'd love it. Okay? Cooking isn't a rule. You can always create and explore with ingredients and create new things. Okay, we're gonna whisk this in here. Ah. This is the color that we want to achieve. You're going to get the nice sweetness from the tomato, a smoky taste from the barbecue sauce, a kick from the sriracha sauce. You can get this from your local Graceway IJ. 
Okay, with our plates, our fancy plates, we're gonna pretty it up. Garnish these beautifully with some fresh romaine. We're gonna take our fritters and we're gonna add this to our garnish. Remember, we all eat with our eyes first, okay? Like I always say, if it looks good, eat it, okay? After we have already placed our comforters on our garnish and our sexy plates, we're gonna take some of our flamingo tropical sauce, is what I like to call it, and we're gonna add some to our plate right here. And here you have it, a kung fritter with a tropical flamingo cocktail sauce. Wow, this is amazing. Remember to check out the Facebook page and you'll see exact ingredients and measurements to complete my special conky fritter.